Okay, so there's actually a pretty straightforward way to reanimate um, an already existing animation into the action recorder if you don't want to use physics-based um, recording. So basically, if you would, if you would use this part here, so it looks like this in your action recorder. Uh, this actually costs a little bit of shared memory in the graphics memory. Um, and if you don't want to use that, but the keyframes in the action recorder, um, you can simply you can simply place one down on the first frame, open it up, um, scope into the pelvis of your character as much as you can, double X, so you select everything. Um, and then press in keyframe mode one time on the pelvis so you get a keyframe on basically everything. Uh, keyframe a random thing on this action recorder. I usually use keep changes. So you get like an extra layer here. Solo that. So everything else is turned off. And then you can go in and basically reanimate it. So L1 and D-pad up is like forwards, backwards, but you can also tap L1, L1 plus uh, touchpad right and left. So you go one frame back and forth. And then you basically go through the frames, tap one time, go to the next frame, tap one time on the pelvis, go to the next one, tap, next one, tap, next one. until you basically got everything. So we're gonna do the whole thing here because it's actually not too much. So in the background you basically record it into the action recorder right now while the old animation plays. Uh, but you do it in keyframes, so you got all these keyframes now. And don't worry about these connectors, this is just stuff and egg. You probably won't have that, and if you have it, you can probably delete it. <laughs> um, you might want to check what it is, but for my case, I didn't need it. And be aware that everything you record this way will be with inverse kinematics. So basically the, um, the way you you would animate if you just move the hand and the arm moves with it. Um, that means also that you can delete the basically the legs, so thigh and calves, and also the arm, so forearm and upper arm. There you go. If you don't wanna do that, or if your original animation is with forward kinematics, so you animated the arm itself, you want to keep that. <laughs> Otherwise it will not work. Um, so yeah, I think we got everything. Um, once you got everything, you can check back if you have like, like something like this, like a gray transition, which is basically linear or a power up. So let's make this a little bit bigger. So the first one is like a power up. You can L1 and X on the top one here, and then L1 and X on, on the transition. So it's like power up. And let's see, we have a gray one here on this part, so same goes here, and then L1 and X on the actual keyframe, so it makes it gray. And the last one is actually both. Um, so we're just gonna do this on both, bam, bam. And we don't have any empty keyframes. If you have an empty keyframe, you just press L1 and um, triangle on this one, and it makes it empty. It looks like this then. Um, you can also do this and then L1 and triangle and makes the entire row empty. Um, but yeah, this is basically the entire animation. So we can go out after we deleted this action recorder keyframe because we don't need it. Single one out, double click so every, every row is activated again so you can actually see the animation. 
go out, go out. And then you can delete the original one. And you have it into the action recorder with keyframes. There you go. Basically, the most important part is actually that you mute the row when you are transcribing it, because otherwise it will not work. Um, but yeah, super easy way.